What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody is good and I hope to see you in the live stream today and tomorrow as well Thursday and Friday. So depending on when I upload this it will probably be uh, this evening so I've probably already live streamed today. So why did you miss it and get involved tomorrow because we will be streaming on Friday as well. But anyway right these are re-released cards. Now a lot of people have been kind of complaining and saying why are they re-releasing cards? But lads you have to remember and I've said it you know plenty of times before you, you have to remember that there's, you know, as a free-to-play game, you always have to have an entry point for new players, right? If somebody comes to the game that has never played the game before, and believe me, there are a lot of people still downloading this game and trying out this game. If somebody comes to the game today and, you know, they don't have a chance at spinning for, you know, like, say, the likes of Sun with Super Sub or Dombele or Hernandez or anybody that you're seeing here on the screen, um, or even, you know, the likes of Neymar or Mario, who we saw in the other pack, you know, they are at a slight disadvantage. So you always have to be given a constant refresh of a point of entry for new players. Now, you know, if somebody's been playing the game for a year, they probably already have had the chance to spin for these players and they might have 10 versions of Sun or 10 versions of Hernandez with various packs. But for newcomers, this is all new to them. So um, that's kind of why they re-release them. And especially packs that have been their most popular packs. You kind of find that they re-release those every couple of months, right? So getting onto these, you can actually clear this agent if you want, right? So that is probably one good thing because you, you, you usually only have, with these players, only three chances or four chances with the extra spin as well to get them. Um, and there are some exceptionally good players in this, like some end game level players. Probably some of the best versions of the cards that are non-legend cards or not big time or epics, right? So we're not going to really focus too much because we've already done reviews on all of these. We're not going to focus on guys that we've already covered, right? We are going to pick out a couple. Um, obviously, these are their finalized versions, so you don't need to worry about training them up or XP or any training guides or anything like that. Um, so for me, I mean, if you get any of these back five here, I'd say, Mignolet, Mere, uh, Scalvini, he's not bad. This guy, he's got some really good player AI, um, but his standard form and C rate, and he's a really good defensive destroyer CMF, but there's a lot of better players out there than him now. He can also play center back. You've also got the wit. He's just a very average center midfielder as well. He has one touch pass, but yeah, he wouldn't be one that I'd be, I'd be looking for. I mean, look, if you are going for this pack, I would definitely be looking to try and get, you know, the top guys, right? We also have Izzo here as well. Um, You know, he plays for Monza. He's center back. He's, he's like 82 tackling, 80 defensive awareness. He's quite short for a center center back as well he does have blocker and interception uh sliding tackle and aerial superiority which is quite nice but again just an average player we've also got the two goalkeepers that you know i'm not even going to go into them because they're not really worth talking about you should have a better goalkeeper by now if you don't have a better goalkeeper than these boys go in and do the events get about 300,000 gp from clearing all the events our 400,000 gp save up as much as you can and get donnarumma or else get somebody you know that's that's going to be around that mark like you know donnarumma is unbelievable courtois is unbelievable uh ter Stegen is unbelievable and they're all you know less than 500,000 gp which is definitely worth it in my opinion now we also have paulinho here this guy is playing with sporting and he's he's a fairly decent player as well as a super sub he's got a wavering form a bit slow but more kind of like just like your average super sub that you bring on as a deep line forward it kind of a pass as well for me um we've also got papega 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 for ac milan he's a whole player just another average player as well but he does have super sub which is quite decent the biggest problem is all these players have c form most of them anyway apart from a few right so that's gonna like kind of take the shine off him a little bit now i do want to talk about kubo because i have kubo and he is one of the best players that i have used in a center forward role as a deep line forward because of his ai he's just excellent excellent it sounded like monty burns there but he is just excellent at getting the ball into good areas and being able to shoot on site one touch pass he's also got double touch cut behind and turn he also has track back which as a deep line forward it is a good uh trait to have on a carrot because he will get back and help and come very very deep for the ball so that you can spring counter attacks you know by spraying it out wide right um so he's probably the pick of him there frimpong a lot of people use him in his in their end game level squads right he's got 81 aggression with 90 balance 90 acceleration and 93 speed and 87 stamina and he is a super sub as well so i see a lot of people in the top divisions using him as a super sub to bring him on right back unless they have like an epic that they're going to be you know replacing their main epic with or whatever right we also have Xhaka and Delafeo, uh Jeco and Danny Carvajal 
And I think these four are kind of all similar, right? You could even throw in these two boys as well. Uh, Neres, I mean, he's just an average center or uh, right winger. He can play left or right, which is quite nice. He does have some nice player skills, no look pass, um, which is a kind of a rare one. Long range shooting, dip and shot, sole control, and heel trick with true passing and pinpoint crossing. He also have a trickster, speeding bullet. But I think the biggest problem with him is his tight position at 84 and his acceleration is only 87, which is quite decent, but there are way better wingers out there than him. We've also got uh, Joel Matip. Matip is a very good center back, but he's just too slow, lads, in my opinion, as a build-up player. He's, you know, he's not as good as Van Dijk, and I don't think, you know, he has blocker either, which you see there, which is a bit of an issue for him. Um, who else? We've got Danny Carvajal. Yeah, very solid right back, lads. Actually plays way above his stats. He has interception as well. You throw a blocker on him. He's got pinpoint crosser and early crosser. He's got good passing skills. You can't train these players. So that's kind of ties you down a little bit. But good stamina, good speed, good tackling, good aggression, good dribbling. Pretty much everything you want in the right back. You've also got Jekko. He's just your, your standard target man. I think Collar is better in the box. Uh, if you are going to get Collar and you can get him for free. We've also got Delafeo. Again, falls into that trap of, you know, he is down as a center forward. But he doesn't really have the skills to play. 80 finishing isn't enough. I also think 84 offensive awareness isn't enough. But I do like his dribbling at 89 is the acceleration. And he does have some nice stats and skills. Especially as super subs. So there's a lot of these cars that you could definitely use as super subs. Uh, Xhaka as well we have him 90 aggression 90 kick and power 89 stamina 93 lofted pass Un uh, he doesn't have unwavering form this card has standard but he does have one touch pass pinpoint cross and outside curler low lofted pass and long range shooting which is quite nice and he also has a long ball expert if you want to uh, you know pop a few around and you don't get it Nielsen this week right so that kind of that kind of brings us from all them kind of average players apart from Kubo I would say that brings us into the top four, right? Now, these four are definitely worthwhile, right? Hernandez, definitely not the best version that they've released of him, but he is a monster, lads, a monster left back because of his tackling, aggression, and acceleration, right? There was another version of him out there that was better, um, you know, and I think if you throw a blocker on this guy, he is going to be a bit of a monster. One touch pass and blocker on this guy, and you pretty much have kind of like just a slightly slower Roberto Carlos that is way more defensive uh, because he gets up and down the pitch so much, right? His speed and stamina are a bit of a concern, but sometimes with, with Hernandez, you don't really notice that. Now, would I use him as a CB? Probably with this card, if you're using him as a CB. I mean, he's probably, you know, you throw a blocker on him, he's probably one of the best CBs in the game because he's got 80 acceleration, 90 tackling and aggression, and then 93 jumping, which is ridiculously good, as well as 81 heading. So he would be nice in there as a kind of a, an extra kind of center back if you wanted him. Valverde, I've raved about Valverde. This guy is down as a right winger, but he's definitely more suited as a CMF. Um, this is not the best version of him, not by a long shot. You will need to train up a lot of stuff, even though he has one touch pass. There are better versions of Valverde there. So I'd say he's a bit of a hit and a miss, depending on how you play him. I mean, you could have one of the most defensive-minded right wingers in the game that puts constant pressure on the center backs and left back for your opponent. Um, but I definitely do think playing him as a CMF, even the standard version, is probably better than him. So it's just an interesting card if you were looking at getting a bit of a unique card because he's got one touch pass, interception, fighting spirit. You could literally put man marking on Valverde and man mark your opponent's left winger and you could do a job with him because he's got the stamina to get up and down the pitch. So he's a very unique card that you can throw at your opponent if you're struggling to, to get into the game. We've also got Dambele. This guy is a bit of a monster when he came out as well and he continues to be a monster. Super sub, one touch pass, true passing, fighting spirit. He also has... Um, chop turn and double touch so he's a bit of a baller he can play a bit of football as well he is down as a box to box i think he's probably not as good as goretzka because of the defensive stats but on the ball he's one of the best box to box players in the game so he kind of reminds me of pedri with how he plays i've actually used him quite a bit and then last but not least we probably have the pick of him lads since the update the last update son has got a massive buff a massive buff and he's got really, really good on-the-ball skills now as well. You've got track back and super sub. He is down as a prolific winger. So he's got, you know, double touch, long-range shooting, long-range curler, acrobatic finishing. 89 finishing for a winger cutting in is a, is a very specific skill set that you're going to want with him. 89 offensive awareness. Balance lets him down a little bit. But that 89 finishing, 85 dribbling, and 89 speed with 87 acceleration is insane. Especially that he has super sub. And these four guys here at the front, they're kind of the key guys that you're wanting to, wanting to probably spin for. So let me know if you think it's a bit of a disappointment. Let me know if you're a newcomer as well. When you actually started playing the game, that would be interesting. And I hope to see you in a live stream quite soon. Peace.